right, little seeds. Do your thing. Germinate. Get your germination on. We don't gamble. Well, we, but we gamble for a living. <laughs> I think so. Let's hope so. <laughs> Merry Christmas, y'all. Do you hear what I hear? Do you hear what I hear? A hungry Elmo. Clara. Bless her heart. Come on, baby. <laughs> she just can't help it. She cannot help it. It's my ass. Why she does that? Because she's a cow dog, like Lawrence said the other day. She's a cow dog. Their natural instinct is to herd. So that's what she thinks she needs to do. Right, baby? Come on, girl. Let's go, Clara. Clara, that'll do. Here. Okay. All right, let's go feed a baby. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Ooh, yeah, more on me. Morning, buddy. Going strong. <laughs> Someone asked when we would start feeding and feed. Um, I don't know exactly. We will at some point give him some feed. He does have hay. We give him hay, which eats a little bit. But for now, it's mainly just milk. Mainly milk. <laughs> it's kind of a miracle we made it through cabin season. I think we're about done. It's pretty sure at this point, whatever hasn't calved is probably not going to calve so those would be open i don't think we have very many but um yeah our cabin season should go october 1 to the end of november and we're we're creeping into the the end of the first week of december so today is the end of the first week december 7th so all in all we've done good usually we have a set of twins or two or three this year we didn't have any of those and um, really didn't have any problems. Didn't have any dystocia as far as like having to pull calves. We just don't pull calves here. We, um, we breed that way. <laughs> we breed to bulls that don't throw large calves so we don't have that problem. So try hard to, to manage for issues ahead of the curve. Anyway, all right, today's going to be a fun day. Today is Christmas tree day from the farm. Hopefully, that's the, that's the plan, Stan. And um, I think he's going to be doing seeding. We'll see. That's the sound of empty, Elmo. Bottle's empty, belly's full. Alrighty then. We'll see you later, Gator. Bonnie's on the hunt. Breakfast buffet, ready to commence. Commence it, whatever. Get filled up. the shovel. No, I took it out yesterday. Well, maybe we were. Clean the truck out. That's what happens. So he wants to plant more barley in here.
pretty wet. Yeah, it's to do. It'll probably do. Look at those little deer prints. Are you supposed to be up here, Bonnie? some barley. He says it's coming up. I see it. I do see it. I see green. Well, green might be new. Weeds? Hen bit. Oh, it might be hen bit. Well, all right. Let's see. Let's see. Huh? Oh. I thought you saw it the other day. I did see it in the place. Oh. Won't see it here. Oh. Oh, Barley, oh, Barley, where are you, oh, Barley? Not that. <laughs> right there. There it is. Hmm. Poking on the ground. Don't see no room. Don't see no rows. Well, you can't see it in the yeah, road. Yeah, I know. But it's coming. You see it's moving. Picking up about a half inch. Well, it's better than not. What? What'd you say? I said maybe a half a stand. Oh. Hen bit's happy. Is that hen bit or chickweed? Hen bit. He's trying. Huh? See the seed laying on top of the ground. comes up that thick and be all right. Yeah, you can see it right there in the red. Boop. <laughs> well, time will tell. Time will tell. Over here, got a little more grass to protect it's coated up better over here, he said. Yeah, you can get out. Let's see. So he feels like it's coming up better over here because there's more grass to protect it. Yeah, you can see it better. Well, in places. <laughs> And it's coming up a little better over here. The grass will just help keep them a little warmer. Or as he says, warmer. A little warmer. All right, Bonnie. Let's go see about feeding some cows. Hmm. Let's see. Is there a doggy in my seat? <gasps> yes, there he is. What are you doing up there? You seem like the place to be instead of the floor. Yeah. I don't blame you. But I'm coming in too. But I guess I can sit over here, can I? While we wait. Sun feels good. The sun does feel good. It's cold this morning. <sighs> day is like halfway over. The day feels like it's halfway over. And we haven't really done anything. <laughs> Riding around checking fields takes forever because they're spread apart. But anyway, we'll see what happens. We were talking. We were talking. Lawrence and I were talking. And even though it's been somewhat frustrating not being able to get everything seeded, 
as early as we would have liked. Um, we know that we are very fortunate compared to a lot of other people. It's talking about a friend who still hasn't been able to get any of his beans in. He had wheat cleaned that he hasn't been able to sow. And I know there's a lot of farmers down east still too that haven't been able to get their beans in. We got our corn in, we got our beans in, even if they didn't bring as much as we were hoping and the they didn't turn out as much as we were hoping, but we got them. So we know we're more fortunate than a lot of people and we don't take that for granted. Farming, farming is so hard, risky. I mean, it's hard, but it's risky. Just risky. I was talking to somebody the other day. We don't gamble. Well, we, but we gamble for a living. <laughs> we don't play the lottery. We just live it, basically. And that's farming. Bonnie, bless. What a hard life you live. Y'all see her all balled up down there? That sun feels so good, Mommy. <laughs> all right. Let's see what else we can get done. Go get it, girls. Yeah. Don't look at me. He's the one with the feed. Okay. What's happening here? Going to get a tree, hopefully. Husband's already picked one out. So I grew up always having a real tree and that's just what I like. My dad worked on a Christmas tree farm every December and so we'd go out there and we'd run around and we'd choose our tree and that was great. Um, so I'm not on the whole fake tree bandwagon. I just can't do it. Some years we decided to take one right off of our farm which would just be a cedar. They're not very easy to decorate. I usually have to use gloves put ornaments on and take them off after it dries out <laughs> but it's kind of special to be able to do that so we're gonna see if the one that my husband has found will work as long as the bottom is not all forked he said um, and we can actually put it in a tree stand if not I might uh, be going up the food line and buying a fur but <laughs> either way today's goal is to get a tree and get it decorated before I have to go out of town next week so, I just feel like it's not really Christmas. Decorating is not really done until dogs are playing, until the tree is up. So, we're going to take care of that today. I think it is. It's just really tall. All right. Got her haul. <laughs> She's... That's really a pretty tree for homegrown. <laughs> oh, it's just about three feet too tall, that's all. <laughs> so we like touching the ceiling like Yeah, leaning over. No, we'll, we'll cut it. We'll cut the bottom off. This one. <laughs>
Yeah, that looks good. Okay, interrupting um, tree decorating for seed moving around, filling up seed hopper, drill, whatever you want to call it. That's what we're doing. The phone's about to die, so might or might not get some of this on video. I guess we'll find out. I'm getting really good at this instruction thing. Yeah. Okay, loaded for bear. Well, loaded for filling. I, I, my brain's a little shot right now. Maybe I can get back to rhyme time another day. I told him to do the last bag in case I spilled it. <laughs> but so far, my record's good. That's pretty good teamwork, right? Yeah, I filled, you greased. Now, time to. I was going to say seed, but you call it drilling. Time to drill. Call it. call it whatever you want to call it. It don't come up, but it won't come up with it under the barn, I know that. No, it won't come up if it's sitting under the barn, that's true. So here's hoping. All right, little seeds, do your thing. Germinate. Get your germination on. <laughs> All righty then. And the drilling goes on and on and on. <laughs> to put lights on the tree and I got the call that he needs three more bags of seed. It's almost dark. I can see the sun setting so hopefully you can get this done quickly. He's sending me a voicemail. <laughs> he probably doesn't know I got his message. Lucky because it wouldn't come up under the shed. True story. 
Oh yeah, should be enough. We just gotta make three more passes. I think so. I mean, I don't know exactly. Let's hope so. <laughs> oh, let's hope I'm right. He's almost done. I gotta tell you, this is one of my favorite. Favorite places to watch the sunset. It's my favorite part of the farm. All right, Miss Bonnie. Let's follow the farmer home. Bring him back to get his truck. <laughs> there really is nothing, nothing like getting something like this accomplished. It's a good day's work. Done before the rain. <sighs> yeah, it's good. Good deal. Mom back. Is that how you say it? Mom back. patience for lights. None. None and they're all tangled even though you try not to let them be. Try to take them off and wrap them up. And I'm not a perfectionist. I'm not a perfectionist. So this kind of thing just doesn't work well. The lights are on. It's just easier to do it out here because it's very tight in there. It's very tiny. So, <laughs> the two strands of lights, I don't ever do this, obviously, on our Charlie Brown tree are on. And we're going to take it inside now and we're going to decorate it after supper. And there we have it. That's not bad, is it, buddy? Mm -mm. It looks good. And I present to you the tree. We got decorated last night and I didn't get documented, <laughs> but here it is in all its little Charlie Brown glory. <laughs> oh, I don't have a bow, but Austin wanted me to put a bird at the top and I like it. So there you go. We done it. We done it. We have our tree. Um, I have a barn up there. The lights burn out. I'll have to fix that today. Bonnie? Bonnie is in her normal place by the heater. She literally lays with her head under the heater usually. I don't know how, but, you know, whatever. There's our other lights. Would love to hang stockings right there, but um, can't do that. <laughs> and then we have these other decorations. Lighthouse I've had for years. Nativity set. And a church with a light burnout. Hmm. I got to replace some bulbs today. Anyway, that's about it for our decorations. The tree makes it though. It's my favorite. I love to come in here. Oh, I got to replace that blind. It's broke. <laughs> anyway, I love to come in here in the morning before everybody gets up and, and just sit with the tree on. It's my fave. Merry Christmas, y'all. And, uh, we'll see you later from Nebraska, maybe. <gasps> we'll see.